Ever wondered how eels are farmed? Well, you're in for a treat today. Welcome to Farming Know How, your go to platform for everything farming. Today, we are peeling back the layers of the eel farming industry, a sector that is as fascinating as it is complex. In this deep dive, we'll journey through the vast realm of pond culture techniques, exploring the significance of pond design, water quality management, and stocking density in eel farming. We'll also delve into the feeding regimens for these slippery creatures, examining dietary requirements at different life stages, feed formulations, and strategies for optimizing growth and nutrition. But no exploration would be complete without understanding the market dynamics. We'll illuminate the trends shaping the global eel market, discussing demand drivers, sustainability practices, and consumer preferences. So buckle up as we embark on this enlightening journey. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of eel aquaculture. First off, let's uncover the secrets of successful eel pond culture. The art of raising eels in ponds, known as pond culture, is a significant aspect of aquaculture. It's a fascinating process, combining science, nature, and a bit of farmer's intuition. Now, what makes a good eel pond? It starts with thoughtful design, the pond should allow for easy monitoring and harvesting. It should also provide a comfortable habitat for the eels, with plenty of hiding places and a bottom surface that encourages burrowing. Water quality is another crucial factor. Eels thrive in clean, well-oxygenated water with a stable temperature. Regular testing is needed to maintain optimal water conditions and promptly address any issues. It's all about creating an environment that mimics the eel's natural habitat as closely as possible. Then there's stocking density. This refers to the number of eels you put in your pond. It's a delicate balance, too few, and you're not maximizing your pond's potential, too many, and the eels might not grow as well, or worse, they might get sick. A good rule of thumb is to start with a lower density and gradually increase it as you gain experience and confidence. Finally, let's talk about best practices for promoting eel health and growth. Regular monitoring, a balanced diet, and swift response to any signs of disease are all part of the equation. You also need to consider factors like the eel's age, size, and the time of year. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Each pond, each batch of eels is unique. To sum up, successful eel pond culture relies on a well-designed pond, careful water quality management, and a balanced stocking density. It also requires a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of eel behavior and needs. Armed with these pond culture techniques, an eel farmer can ensure the health and growth of their eels, and with a bit of patience and perseverance, they can watch their eel population thrive, bringing a sense of achievement that's hard to beat. So we've got our pond set up, but what do these slippery creatures eat? Eels have a diverse diet which varies depending on their stage of life. As larvae, they primarily consume zooplankton, tiny organisms floating in the water. As they mature into glass eels, their diet expands to include insects, crustaceans and even smaller fish. Fully grown adults are opportunistic feeders, devouring whatever they can get their jaws around, from fish and shellfish to worms and aquatic plants. Now in a controlled aquaculture setting, Eel farmers can't just toss in a handful of bugs and call it a day. No, feeding eels is a delicate science, requiring a balance of proteins, fats and carbohydrates to ensure optimal growth and health. Many farmers use specially formulated pellet feeds, which are packed with all the necessary nutrients. These pellets are typically high in protein, derived from sources like fish meal, squid meal or soybean meal. But it's not just about what you feed your eels. It's also about how you feed them. Eels are nocturnal creatures, so feeding should ideally take place in the evening or at night. The feed should be evenly distributed across the pond, allowing all eels an equal chance to eat. Overfeeding should be avoided, as it can lead to water pollution and wasted resources. But here's the rub. Eels aren't the most efficient eaters. In fact, they have a relatively low feed conversion ratio meaning they need to consume a lot of food to gain just a little weight. This inefficiency can be a challenge for eel farmers, who must balance the cost of feeding with the potential profits from selling their grown eels. 
Furthermore, the environmental impact of eel farming cannot be overlooked. Excess feed and eel waste can contribute to water pollution, which can harm other aquatic life and degrade the overall quality of the pond. Farmers must therefore strive to optimize their feeding regimens, minimizing waste and ensuring the sustainability of their operations. With the right feeding regimen, eel farmers can maximize growth and reduce environmental impact. Now, let's talk money. What does the global eel market look like? The eel market is as slippery and elusive as the creature itself, constantly evolving and adapting to changing circumstances. It's a global affair, with major players in Asia, Europe and North America. The Asian market, especially Japan, South Korea and China, has a voracious appetite for eel, driving a significant portion of the global demand. Europe, on the other hand, is a major producer, with countries like Denmark and the Netherlands leading in sustainable eel farming practices. North America, while a smaller player, is catching up, with growing interest in eel aquaculture. Emerging trends in the eel market are largely driven by sustainability and consumer preferences. There's a growing demand for eels that are farmed using eco-friendly practices. This is a reaction to the overfishing of wild eels and the resulting ecological imbalance. Consumers are becoming more conscious of their impact on the environment, and this is reflected in their buying habits. Moreover, there's a shift towards preference for quality over quantity. Consumers are willing to pay a premium for eels that are farmed in optimal conditions, resulting in a superior taste and texture. This trend is pushing eel farmers to upgrade their farming practices, focusing more on the health and well-being of their eels. In terms of market dynamics, there's a lot of potential for growth. The increasing global population and the rising middle class, particularly in emerging economies, are creating a larger market for eel products. This, coupled with the growing awareness about the nutritional benefits of eel, is driving the demand upwards. Potential opportunities for eel farmers are plenty. Those who can adapt to the changing market dynamics, adopt sustainable farming practices, and cater to the evolving consumer preferences, stand to gain the most. There's also a vast, untapped market in regions where eel is not traditionally consumed. With the right marketing strategies, these regions can be turned into lucrative markets. Understanding these market trends can help eel farmers to seize opportunities and stay ahead of the curve. So, we've covered a lot of ground today. Our journey into the world of eel aquaculture has been filled with fascinating insights and revelations. We've seen how pond culture techniques form the bedrock of successful eel farming, with elements such as pond design, water quality management, and stocking density playing pivotal roles. It's clear that creating an optimal environment for eel growth and health isn't an art, it's a science. We've also delved into the specifics of feeding regimens for eels at different life stages. This isn't just about providing sustenance, it's about maximizing growth and nutrition, balancing feed conversion efficiency, and mitigating environmental impact. The right feeding strategy can make a world of difference in eel farming. And of course, we've looked at the market trends shaping the eel aquaculture industry. We've seen the drivers behind the global eel market and emerging trends like sustainable aquaculture practices and consumer preferences. The market is dynamic, filled with opportunities for those ready to seize them. But remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about eel aquaculture, the better equipped you are to navigate its challenges and reap its rewards. So keep learning, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in your eel farming endeavors. Before we wrap up, here's a quick recap. Eel farming is a multidimensional discipline, encompassing pond culture techniques, precise feeding regimens, and an understanding of market trends. Each of these aspects is a cog in the wheel of successful eel aquaculture, and mastering them is key to making your mark in this industry. So whether you're an experienced eel farmer or a newbie to the scene, we hope you found this deep dive into eel aquaculture enlightening. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to discover, so much more to learn. Remember, with the right knowledge and techniques, you can make a splash in the eel farming industry. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into eel farming. 
You're now equipped with a wealth of knowledge on pond culture techniques, feeding regimens, and market trends, all crucial to the eel aquaculture industry. If you found this information valuable, show us some love by hitting that like button. It really makes a difference. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Farming Know How. We consistently bring you the latest insights and innovative techniques in the farming industry. By subscribing, you'll always be in the loop for our future content. And we're not just interested in sharing our knowledge, we want to hear from you too. If you have experiences with eel farming, or if you have any questions, drop a comment below. We love to see our community engaging and learning from each other. Thank you for joining our exploration of eel farming. Until next time, happy farming!